caterpillar soup and imaginal discs, most people are well aware that caterpillars spin cocoons to protect their chrysalis while they go through their metamorphosis. The chrysalis itself, the hardened shell the caterpillar transforms in, actually grows underneath the caterpillar's last layer of skin. When this skin is shed, the chrysalis is revealed. To begin with, the chrysalis is quite soft, but it hardens up to protect the caterpillar inside as it pupates. And here is where things get fascinatingly bizarre, now that the caterpillar is encased in a protective shell, it releases digestive enzymes which break down its body into a chunky caterpillar soup. The caterpillar literally dissolves itself, but some very important parts called imaginal discs remain intact. What is an imaginal disc, you ask? To answer this, we need to travel right back to the beginning of the caterpillar's life when it was in its tiny egg. As it develops, the unhatched caterpillar grows little clusters of cells, which are the imaginal discs, inside its body. Each disc represents a different part of the body it will eventually have as an adult moth or butterfly, there is a disc for each of its wings, discs for its eyes, its antennae, and so on. Once the pupating caterpillar has liquefied most of its body, leaving only the imaginal discs floating in ooze, these discs make use of the chunky soup surrounding them to fuel the rapid cell division needed for them to transform into an adult butterfly or moth. The entire transformation process from egg to larvae to adult is called hollow metabolism. Though it may seem like things could not get any weirder, researchers later discovered that at least some species of moth can retain memories of lab experiments they endured as caterpillars. Evolutionary ecologist Martha Weiss placed tobacco hornworm caterpillars in a little Y shaped pipe. One section of the pipe led to an area smelling of ethyl acetate, and the other section led to clean air. The caterpillars that chose the tube leading to the ethyl acetate were then subjected to electric shocks, after which 78% of them actively avoided the area smelling of the chemical. A month later, after the caterpillars had completed their metamorphosis, they were subjected to the same test as adult moths. 77% of the moths actively avoided the pipe smelling of ethyl acetate, which according to Weiss suggests that parts of the brain are retained that allow memories to persist through this very dramatic transition.